Hi everyone. Welcome to our virtual story time here at Michigan City Public Library. My name is Mr. Dave and joining me today is Miss Dana. Hi everyone. I'm Miss Dana. So before we start the stories today, I thought we could shake our hands up. Shake our hands up. Wiggle your fingers around. Shake them out to the side. Shake them out in front of you. Okay, is everybody ready? I have 10 little fingers and they all belong to me. I can make them do things. What would you like to see? I can shut them tight. I can open them wide. I can put them together. I can make them hide. I can make them fly high. I can make them fly low. I can fold them like this and hold them just so. Right, good job everybody. Not Quite Black and White, written by Jonathan Ying, with illustrations by Victoria Ying. Most zebras wear stripes, but this one does not. She much prefers dressing in pink polka dot. These penguins look dapper in black and white suits. But one funny fellow has bright yellow boots. Dalmatians are sprinkled with spots of all shapes. But some pups feel braver in flowing red capes. Look there, at the beach, see two brother skunks. They're easy to spot in their matching blue trunks. This llama likes climbing up mountains and hills. Her woolly brown scarf keeps her safe from the chills. This tiger is fancy, the classiest cat, from the tips of his toes to his tall purple hat. This horse keeps the traffic under control. His bright orange vest shows he's on patrol. This panda likes cooking with sticks of bamboo. His apron is messy with leafy green stew. This cow rides a scooter to bring kids their milk. She stays warm with a coat made from lavender silk. This kitty plays drums and he likes to rock. He keeps the beat with his aqua mohawk. This badger goes on a trip to the moon. The flag he will plant is a striking maroon. We might have stripes or we might have spots. Sometimes we are fancy. Sometimes we are not. From the darkest of dark to the brightest of bright, we're each pretty special, not quite black and white. Not Quite Black and White, written by Jonathan Ying, with illustrations by Victoria Ying. Panda Pants, by Jacqueline Davies, illustrated by Sydney Hansen, read with permission from Random House Kids. I want pants. Why? Pants have pockets. Not all pants. My pants would have pockets. Pants are warm. You have fur. 
You don't need pants to keep warm. Pants would be warmer. Are you cold? No, but I could be at any moment. You will not be cold at any moment. You are a panda. We do not wear pants. Pants look good. Pants look ridiculous on a panda. When have you ever seen pants on a panda? Never. That's my point. Never on a panda. I could be the first. You will not be the first. But I could be. Pants would protect my legs from scratchy grass. No, pants would itch. Not if they're soft. Fur is soft. Pants can be soft. They can be made of silk. Where would you find silk pants? Around. Around where? Around here. Everyone would admire my pants. They would love them. My pants would impress. Pants would make me happy. Pants would not make you happy. They really would. You are a panda. Pandas do not wear pants. Hey, pants. Wait. I've got an idea. Impressive. Splat. Why did you give away your pants? I don't want pants. I want shoes. The End Panda Pants by Jacqueline Davies, illustrated by Sydney Hansen, read with permission from Random House Kids. Bamboo for me, bamboo for you by Fran Manushkin, illustrated by Purification Hernandez. I'm Amanda. I'm a panda. I'm Miranda. I'm a panda. It's so cozy, just we two. And me, and lots of sweet bamboo. It's breakfast time. What shall we do? How about some sweet bamboo? Bamboo for me, bamboo for you. Lions eat meat. Ew, ew, pew. We would rather chew bamboo. Look, I'm climbing. Me too, me too. You made me fall. Not true, not true. Let's try playing peekaboo. Miranda Panda, I see you. It's hard to hide behind bamboo. It's time for lunch. What shall we do? How about some sweet bamboo? Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's chew bamboo! Apes eat apples. Pew, pew, pew. We would rather chew bamboo. Don't push. Stop pushing. I'll push you. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm through with you. I'll play alone. That's what I'll do. I'm having fun. Me too. Me too. 
I feel so sad. I feel so blue. I miss my sister. You really do? I don't like to fight with you. It's supper time. What shall we do? Let's share these bunches of bamboo. Zebras eat hay. Boo, boo, pew. I'm so glad we chew bamboo. It's nighttime. I know what to do. I'll snuggle with mama. Me too, me too. Dear cubs, there's room for both of you. It's time for bed. Good night, you two. Sleep tight, Amanda. You sleep tight, too, with dreams of lots of sweet bamboo. Bamboo for me, bamboo for you, by Fran Manushkin, illustrated by Purification Hernandez. Be sure to visit the library to pick up this week's take-home story time craft.